Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is the lecture number 18 of our free course tab. In today's lecture, we will discuss about the short circuit analysis. This lecture was coming to, uh, on Sunday, but due to my health problems, my health does not support me to record the lecture. And it is, that is why it comes late. Before the stay started the lecture, please subscribe the channel and like and share my video on your social media profiles. First of all, we will see what is short circuit. A short circuit is a low resistance connection between two points in an electrical circuit by passing the normal or intended point. That means a short circuit is a connection between two points which has a very low resistance and this path is not a normal path. Suppose this is a three phase RYB supplying supply to the induction motor or a sub motor. This is the normal connection. But if somehow R phase gets connected with the Y phase and then supplies to the motor, this is the short circuit. This is the condition of the short circuit. Here the R phase gets connected with the Y phase. This is the not normal path. And this path is called the short circuit. This is called the short circuit. Similarly, if we can see, this is the a simple diagram, and this is the phase wire, and this is the neutral wire. Here, the normally the current flows from A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. This is the normal path of the current. But if somehow uh, branch A B gets connected with an E C like this through a E F, I have shown. This is called the now short circuit because now the current flows from A to E, E to F, F to D, and D to A. And this is not the normal path. This is not the intended part of the normal path. This is called the short circuit. Now you have got the idea of what is short circuit. What does the short circuit mean? Now, why to study short circuit analysis power system? What is the need of studying the short circuit analysis in the power system. First is the system design. Short circuits can lead to excessive current flow causing overheating of conductors and equipment. This can result in fires or damage to electrical components posing a serious safety hazard. By conducting a short circuit analysis, it helps engineers determine the appropriate sizing of conductors protective devices and other components to ensure that the system can handle fault without conditions without compromising their safety and energy. That means the short circuit causes a very huge current to flow, high magnitude of current flows in the short circuit and in the short circuit condition. The short circuit analysis helps engineers determine the appropriate size of conductor, protective devices, and other components, though, so that they can withstand that short circuit, that huge current value of current. Equipment protection. Electrical components in cells due to work current protection, work current conditions, a short circuit can cause a sudden and substantial increase in the current, leading to equipment damage or failure. Analyzing short circuit helps in selecting appropriate protective devices such as circuit breakers or fuses to prevent damage to equipment and ensure the reliability of an electrical system. That means a short circuit studies helps for engineers or designers to select the appropriate protective device like circuit breaker or a fuse so that the main component can be saved. So the component which is protected by the circuit breakers or fuse that can be saved and a protective device like circuit breaker should also not get damaged. There are not only one type of fault, there are different types of fault. The engineers have divided these faults in different types of faults. First one is the line to ground fault. In this case, a one line that we are is Y phase or P phase gets connected with the ground. This is called the 
land ground fault land to land fault these two lines are getting connected to each other this is called the line to line fault and third is the double line to ground fault in this condition two lines are getting connected with each other and then they both are get connected with also with the ground this is called double line ground fault and third is the three phase fault when three line or the three phase are get connected to each other this is called the three phase fault there are some important terms as per the iec 6909 this is the second dot Used for short circuit analysis, uh, IEC 60909. The various terms are initial symmetrical short circuit current. The initial symmetrical short circuit current is the maximum current that flows after a short circuit occurs before any protective device like circuit breaker or fuse have a chance to operate. That means when the short circuit occurs, the initial symmetrical current, initial value of the current is called the initial symmetrical current. Before any protective device gets operated, the initial value, the starting value of the short circuit current is called the initial symmetrical short circuit current. Peak short circuit current. The peak short circuit current is the highest instantaneous current that occurs during the first half cycle immediately after a short circuit happens. Unlike the initial symmetrical short circuit current, which is a steady state value, the peak current includes both AC component and a and DC offset that might be present due to the sudden nature of the fault. That means after the first during the first half cycle, the value of the short circuit current is called the peak short circuit current. It has two components. One is the AC component and another is the DC component. Steady state short circuit current. This steady state short circuit is the current that flows after initial transit effect of the short circuit has settled down and the current has stabilized. This current is typically lower than the initial surge or a peak short circuit current but remains constant as well as the short circuit exists. No product device has interrupted the short circuit. The house this interrupted the circuit. That means this is the value of the short circuit current when the project period of the short circuit has over after that if the short circuit is not removed the short circuit uh, current attains a fixed value of one steady state value this value is called the steady state short circuit current and often it remains constant till the um, short circuit has been cleared Uh, symmetrical short circuit breaking current. This symmetrical short circuit breaking current is the current that a circuit breaker is drive to safely during a short circuit. It prefers the steady state short circuit current that is symmetrical, meaning that positive and negative opposites of the current waves are equal and there is no DC offset. That means uh, circuit breakers are designed for this value to enter the short circuit current or in a steady state short circuit. Current. In the steady state short circuit current, there is no DC component. Now, there is a certain relationship between the initial symmetrical short circuit current, peak short circuit current, uh, steady state short circuit current, uh, breaking current. Peak short circuit current, IP, is called the under root of 2K I double dash T. Uh, I can double dash the initial symmetrical short circuit current. K depends on the ratio of or by x or the results to the x in the gap in it in the tunnels. So to this state breaking current is equal to ib is equal to mu i double dash k the value of mu you can get from the iec 0909 table so to this state short circuit current ik is equal to i max we can find the two values i max and i mean and lambda max into ir and lambda mean and into ir lambda max and lambda mean these are the values you can get from the IEC 0909 table. Okay. And these are the sort of relationships between the short circuit connectors and some terms related to the short circuit uh, analysis. Now, in the next lecture, we will study, we will solve a practical example uh, manually. Then we will go for the action sheet. Uh, in the action sheet, how you can 
calculate the short circle current. After that, we go for the um, problem on the E tap, and we will calculate the short circle current on E tap. Perform the short circle analysis on it. Thank you.